Hello and welcome to the next part, which is, uh, I'm not sure which it is, but anyway. Anyhow, we're going to do the engine. Um, what type of engine was it? I don't know. Hmm. I've forgotten what aircraft engine it had. I don't know. Anyway, um, just do the engine. Got it now, but there's going to be a problem to making the engine now, guys. Um, if your experienced model are great, if you're not, then we have a problem because you'll need um, some help doing this next part. The main reason why is because it is resin, and everything is resin for this engine. So, I have to admit, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, that's going to be that on there. That's the main engine hub, and then we've got the cylinders here now. We've got two sets. We should have 15 and 16, but I can't see any numbers on them, so I have to, <coughs> excuse me, I have to find that out. And yeah, it looks a very simple engine. Um, got the air intake on the bottom there, that goes there. Got some machine guns, so we won't be using them. And we won't be using these either. You've got gun sight, some kind of um, speedometer there, and the part on the front for the different variant you want to do. So we won't be using them. So really, that is all the resin parts we need. But as well as that, we need to do some scratch building with this engine. Uh, I'm going to put a picture up here now, so you can see what engine looks like. Now at the front, you may notice we need some wire things, wire cable for us. I don't know if it's spark plugs or whatever you want to call them, I don't know. But so if you're following along with this and um, you got to stage where you need the engine doing, I need to point this out, you will need some rod, some 0.3mm rod. And I have ordered mine, and this is it. Uh, it's a company called Albion Alloys, apparently they're pretty good, I haven't had these out of the packet yet and they were very very fast service. It cost me five pounds, some like a pound for postage and packaging, and it got to me within 14 hours, so that was ideal. So I'm just going to take one out. There should be ten pieces in here. As you can see, it's very long, very thin. It's not very easy to bend either. So that's going to be ideal for the um, engine rods. Now they will sit, if I can find the right one, on, I don't think it's them, I don't know, but I find out, they set the front there, which you can see, just there, so we need some rod, uh, I tried to get silver, but I couldn't, another thing is that we need, is um, the cables, if you notice at the bottom, they're just need some cable there, so I'll just have to go and get some, or use some stretch sprue. Right, but before we begin, I just thought we need something very other important now. You need a mask, because the number one reason, it is just simply resin. Uh, resin, it's kind of a form of plastic where when you're sanding, and sawing and cutting up, um, you need a mask on because the particles you can inhale which becomes very bad for your health so I'm just using a simple gas mask, well gas mask, just a simple mask over the front of my face which I'll cover up in a minute and <coughs> excuse me um, you, this is just a simple mask, many people have other masks but that's it really right I'm going to start with the build and I shall come and see you guys later. So I'm just going to 
just going to paint this actual engine in the grey colour. You can see in the photograph there. Let's start. Um, it's kind of a light grey, this engine, and then the cylinders are in black, or like a gun metal, as you would call it. So, what I'm doing, I'm just going to paint this cylinder in the grey. Here it is. And the whole lot. Is Go receive a nice coat. Like so, all the way around. Like so. I know just quite quiet, but they are. I just want to talk about. I don't. Can't remember the actual name of the engine. I'll find at the start. You will be shouting at me, it's such and such and you'll know. Um, it's like by the time Second World War came, I hate to admit it, but the engine was kind of underpowered for this aircraft because it was just a touch slow. Don't want to tell anyone would actually think of it. Really? So yeah, you can see what I was coming from. It's just that Italian Air Force. Good aircraft, but when it came to it, they were just underpowered. I'm sorry, but they are. So that's that done. The, um, so I'll get back on there. The main engine's painted the grey colour. I'm just going to let it dry and then go over another coat. See if i got some silver. I know I have, but I just can't find it. There we are. Now what we're going to do... A dry brush like this one. I'm just gonna take some right. The cylinders I've already painted black, so what we're gonna do is go over with just a silver quick coat like that. That's all you kind of need, just that quick coat over the top. Just like that. So you can see the resin, it's brought out all that nice, lovely detail. And there you are. Right, so I'm going to get. <coughs> Please excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough. I'm going to get on with this. Oh, sh sugar, they're not dry. I that stopped myself from saying the explicit language. I didn't realise they're not dry yet. Blimey. me. Anyway, I'm gonna let them dry. Then I'm gonna paint the rest silver. Okay, so got the cylinder paint what well, cylinders that cylinders the engine painted. We've got cylinders here. Now this one is set fifteen, which is the that's this the back ones. I go around this section here. You can tell I found out it's got one on. So the ones with one on are 15, like that. So they sit on the back there, like so. Right, okay. Um, then you've got some the exhaust there at the back there. Let's just see. Get this present part off. Gently apply pressure, just gently. Either that or you have to saw it off. Just like that. That's come off nicely, no problem, wow. And then, just have a quick look on 15. There you go in the back there. Put one there. Just 
add some glue in there. Like so. Going. Right, now I'm not sure whether resin works the same as actual plastic glue. So I might need to use some uh, super glue. Yeah, by looks things I might have to. So it's, I don't think there's no way that's going to stay and leave it like that. That's, that's just falling out. It's not sticking at all, it's just falling. Leave that there. I'm going to let it dry. See if we can, if it's worked, and then come back in a second. Right, so what I've done, I've used this glue in the end to stick it in, and so far it's working. Next part we're going to do is a cylinder piece. And look, see which way it goes. Somewhere. Like so. That fits into the hole. Like so there. And like so. There you have it. That's one cylinder done actual exhaust in. Now I gotta do them for the other twenty eight pieces on the I think it's twenty eight. Sorry. No. Eight. Six sixteen, sorry, sixteen cylinders, sorry. Play hell. Right, I'm gonna get on with that and I'm gonna put into time lapse and we'll just get this whole thing done and out of the way then. So, basically the engine is now complete. The only thing we're going to do is go put the wires on there. And that's simply done with the wire. Now I have to cut it into about 8mm strips, but I cut a bit more just to get onto the edges there. So I'll say 1cm strip. So, of course we can't cut it with this knife, we have to cut side cutters. See? Guide it with the side cutters so that it bends it. And we're going to do another one now. Just uh, like that. Take the first one and snip it there. That piece goes there. That. So what we do now is just bit on the end now. We'll take that a little bit off like that. So what we do, take our tweezers, place it in the glue. And there's some tiny little holes at the front too. Well, not holes, are just location pins. Put that rest up there. 
just let that fall back onto the like so. Now that is kind of in place. We take stick, just dab some glue on the end there. Put some on there on the matter as well. Like so. Take the other one. If we can get up, so you just pick up like that with your finger. Again, I forgot to back that, put a bit on the end there. That goes in place like that. Just like that. Fall back on to there. So, that, that's it. That's all it is. So, we gotta do that at the same times. Now I do apologise, I there was eight on the thing, I said sixteen cylinders. It's actually a fourteen cylinder engine. Um what was I gonna say? Yeah, basically they've given you two spare cylinders. So that's a really nice touch. So if you mess up one or lose one, you always got another one to keep you covered. So that's it. That's really what I'm gonna do for the last three. So once they're done, go paint them silver. I'm going to give a very thin wash to the end here. And once that's done, we can actually fit it into the engine cover once it's all dry and been 24 hours. So, uh, so I'm going to go do that. I'll, well, I'll see you in a minute then. Okay, so it's the engine cylinder block just here. I have to say it slots, just checking. Things not loose. Everything's fine. Now let's have a look at the instructions, see how this thing goes in. Right, a thick piece at the bottom says like that and slots in. Get the angles right. Just like so. Like that. So that's kind of goes in like there. I'm just checking whether it's level or what. What we're going to do now is uh, take the exhaust. Trim this off. I can get it off as if. There you are. Just gonna have a look at the instructions again, see how it goes in. And they should go in the wrong way. Like so. Is that right? Like that. Like so. If it will go in. If they will go in. So they just keep popping out, do they? Wait a minute. Which way is supposed to go in? So it's okay, just have a look at the instructions. Can't go in. They're going like that, apparently. Like so. No, it doesn't want to stay in. Should apparently should go in right to the end there. Let's 
just having some Right, so apparently that so should go there like that. But they're not staying kind of level. Six and a half hours later. Something else just fall off. Yep, it is. Stupid thing this is. Three weeks later. Alright, that's on. No problem there. So right, where's <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's a proper blue. Months later. You might have to, I just might have to take this out of shot. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new. Right, I'm gonna sort this problem out. Tomorrow. After a certain amount of time, I've actually managed to get this blasted engine in. And I have to say, it was a bit tricky getting in that that thing in there. A bit of tongue twist that was. The exhausts, perfect. They need to be glued on, which I'm gonna do in, in a minute. To the leading edges, the thing. I didn't want to move it because of um the thingy the this coming off but it looks like everything is in place and in order and everything is well so really that ends this part of the engine the kind of the most challenging part of the build so far the engine but apart from that it turned out well so I'm going the part here Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all again soon. So, with that, thank you for watching, cheers, and goodbye for now.